What up, gang? It's Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, the villain. My bad. I think there's some birds flying around. That kind of caught me off. So birds just flew through, like, just flew past my window. And I was like, out of nowhere. But it's Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, the villain, villain, trilligan. Um, fortunately, I'm still alive. I didn't, I didn't feel enough despair to kill myself. So. I'm still here. I'm still recording um, Danganronpa. Let's get into it. This is chapter three. Creep. Bro, talk. No one's here, right? <laughs> oh, freaking Hiyoko. Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots, I can't wait to see the surprise look in their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> I don't like that laugh. That laugh is annoying. Oh, my stomach hurts all of a sudden. Ahem. Hope speak a cat. Good. Now then. All right, what's popping off? Morning, huh? Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Dang, he got messed up. Involving himself in Paco's execution like that, suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. Guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right, just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, then we'll question Monokuma afterward. I'm definitely gonna find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. Man. Dang. Man. Bro, my hero! My hero! Uh, I wanna talk to you, bro! That was my favorite character so far. I guess Chiaki's gotta take up the mantle. It's no longer my hero Chiaki and then Iba I Ibuki. It's now Chiaki and Ibuki. Ah! Hajime, you're already here! Hiyoko, you're the only one here. What you acting so anxious about? Hmm. I'm not actually anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. She's trying to pull some dirty trick again. What you got going on, girl? What is that? What the freak is that? Bro, are you trying to summon Satan? Don't be playing with me like that, little girl. I'll make you the sacrifice. Keep playing with me. We don't play with demons over here. Over here trying to summon an ancient demon. Get up out of here, dog. What the heck is this? A panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. What is this? It's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Is it a shrine? Is it like one of those, um, I like, I like, I know Japan be doing it. It's like somebody dies, so you set up a little shrine for them or something like that to like to, to mourn or something. It's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mayuru take these photos? What's up with this terrifying ambiance? Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> Mine was going to be happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hiyoko, did you... Hello? Uh, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. Dang, she's going to say something about it and, <laughs> and get dog. <laughs> um, what, what are you looking at? Huh? What are these, these horrifying photos? I s expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? You? What's up, what's up, is it a bra? Huh? Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> oh, this is bad, please take a look at those photos. Huh, huh photos? Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? 
hey, 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 hey. What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? This is clearly a, an insult against my hero. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. <sighs> this is too much to actually treat Mayuru's photos like this. I feel bad for Hiyoka. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good, nom, 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 nom. Good mongrel. <laughs> what are those nasty photos? They're giving such a crazy, huge, ominous aura. Something like this. There is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey. I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right. There's no way Mahiru will be happy with this. <sighs> she won't be just unhappy. She'll be so angry, she'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? Bro, calm down! No. <laughs> no, we'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... Fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana! Seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn Mahiru. You can't burn it. <laughs> huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? Pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting my hero. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps. Perhaps, despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? My hero is not alone. She'll be with us now forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Why did they put skulls there? Right? So I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. And after hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. Mm -hmm. Bro, get your own brain. You <laughs> I forgot, she don't be thinking. She don't, nothing be going on in her head. So <laughs> she, she, she kind of simple like that. You sure are simple minded. Um, was the person who made this... <laughs> Mayuru was really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. Mayuru's probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone even if she's in heaven. Hiyoko, <laughs> you! I did want to make it look better, but... Unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry! I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hiyoko. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Well... How should I put this? Uh, it looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No, it should come with us when we get off this island, too. I mean, we could take the photos, but I don't know if we should take the whole thing. It would be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it! You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine, then I forgive you all except Mikan, of course! Why? Why are you so strict with me? I see. Man, it's so unexpected. I really can't imagine Hiyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hiyoko has a very kind heart. That's not it. Kind of, come on, it's not like that. Jeez. Jeez, stop it already. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Don't tease me. <laughs> Hiyoko's so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up, you pick face troll! Why only me? Why only me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> At any rate, I hope this is finally settled settled down. Settled now. It's very like you guys to settle things like this. Huh, really? 
feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and it finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair toward our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. I have arrived. Apl apologies for the wait. What? what the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible. Malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst. Wow, this is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. My goodness. Stand aside! I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces! <laughs> Leave her alone! Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Mm. Looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize how short-lived this piece would be. Oh my goodness. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing, like a huge fracture running between all of us. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us, which just hadn't realized it yet. Ooh, I'm starved. I can't eat another bite. Hey, man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about like choking? Yo, I never get worried. <laughs> you don't. What about Fuyu Hika? Um, is he really all right? I was so so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> uh, if only I could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Oh, well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Right. Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So, leave the rest of me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge for you, Hiko. Avenge? He's not even dead. Jeez. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Hello. Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? Oh, <laughs> he called Monami meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood's over now thanks to you. D did I ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. What do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Ah, um, uh, so you finally asked me. Don't freaking look at me like that. Well, once again, I've defeated another Mono Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you've defeated a Mono Beast, that means... <laughs> That's right, you're able to visit another island. <laughs> so let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. I'm ready to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. <laughs> are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I, asked, I, to, I just told said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Mm -hmm. Huh, Fuyuhiko? Um, uh, you see, I don't really know. Miss Sonia. Can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of that mysterious world and the organization, aren't you? Hey. That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, it's gotta be it. Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. Oh, what a dilemma, but that's the one thing I can say. Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec. She ran away again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well. Oh, well, who cares about Monami? 
More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko was in danger. <laughs> but we must move forward no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma, bro. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko. But is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What well, we can, huh? Yeah, she right. Let's try to find a way out this island before he comes back. Mm. You are right. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sony. Of course you do, you freaking meat rider. Hop off her penis, bro. All right. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. So, would, so wouldn't it just be faster to beat up the rest of the mana beasts and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me. If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hold on. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. What is up with this guy? Can somebody shoot him, please? Please shoot him, Dad. Actually, please, just murder this guy. Right, the mana beast I was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross this bridge, we should be able to reach a new island. With the feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear and nervousness I felt. I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. Teddy Typhoon! The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. Hold on! I need to see what's up in there! The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. Not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here too. Feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Bro, I'm trying to check out I'm trying to check out Titty Typhoon. I'm trying to boy Titty Typhoon hold on let me check out the hospital let's see what's in here I guess this is where Fuyuiko looks like this is the hospital's lobby the ambiance feels like something out of a horror film I definitely don't want to be a patient You ugly pit face! Hajime! Holy crap! I'm sorry, I scared you. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is the hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Dang it! There's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? But... I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure if they'll be useful unless we check them. Ah, <laughs> uh, that means I need to go check them, right? Understood, I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Mikan frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to lead this place to her. What the freak is Gundam Tanaka doing here? Of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. Please for forget what you heard for your sake. Bro talking about stitches or like a birthmark or something? He was the one who volunteered that information and I was already telling me to forget it. Ah, oh, freaking weirdo. Suicide is the only positive option for people like you. Let's see what this Teddy Typhoon talking about. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, what they got? Hold on. This building with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Come on, what's inside this titty typhoon? Come on, it better be what I think it is. Please let it, it better be what I think it is. 
Come on, boom, come on. They got tequila. I don't really care about that though. Where the titties? What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Do not surprise me like that ever again. I'll stab you. <laughs> the truth is so overwhelming that I can't help but shouting out. That's totally it. Cause this is a music venue, right? Yeah, look like. I love music. I'm sure you do. I never expected to find a music venue. Ooh, I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. Ooh, I can't help feeling excited. Huh? Huh? Did I say that twice? Huh? Huh? Did I say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. She thinks she me for real, bro. Just repeating the same thing over and over again. No problem. Not at all. I'm totally fine. No Not at all. I'm totally fine. Bro. Ah, did I say that twice again? Bro. Did I say that twice again? You you don't look very okay. <laughs> Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like a smug feeling when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. What the freak are you waffling about? Oh, well, if you're really taking a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me, like, let me bite you. I'm sorry, I should hurry up and go check out another place. We're not gonna investigate the name, bro. Like, why? Realistically, though, why is it called Titty Typhoon? Stage, probably never have a chance to be there. Amazing. What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be the fabled disco. Disco? See? It is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. I have no clue what she is talking about. She just chatting. She just flapping her lips and making noise, bro. She's gotta be. Let's see what the motel tamba. Let's see what the motel tamba. See what the motel tamba. See what the motel tamba. Oh, hey, Hiyoko. There's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel. Oh my goodness, are you stupid? It says motel right freaking there. I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel. Looks pretty unsanitary, too. Just like Hajime's house. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously worn down. Like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. It's a bit harsh, don't you think? But, but we gotta make sure to check it out thoroughly. It's possible there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing here doing nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So. Akane was checking out the inside after I gave her a little praise. She got really excited about it. <laughs> An idiot like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. <laughs> if her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. It's dark and slightly dirty. No doubt it'll be a crime movie. If it's just a state of night, the cottage is good enough. Oh my goodness, I freaking love Hyoko. I don't care. I don't. I do not care what anybody says. I love Hiyoko. It's a vehicle here. What the freak is that? It looks like a motorcycle. A rundown and rusted riding car. Someone abandoned. Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Hiyoko is so silly, bro. I can't hate her. I'm finna get stabbed in here, bro. It's a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It seems it, it definitely seems to Yo! What is that? That's dangerous, isn't it? 
With this many machines, we could probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Yo, this does not, this does not look okay. This looks dangerous. No. What the freak? What is this? So many machines. I'm looking at them. I can't tell what they're used for. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't get it. All that stuff there is some machines used for like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient surveillance cameras too. What? Secret videos? Hey, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, all right? No one said you did. Speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? He says he's never used them before. If I let him be, he'll definitely use them sooner or later. Freaking weirdo. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look real old. Looks like they're not designed for a terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Let me talk to you. Are you serious? Are you screwing me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier being surrounded by a bunch of machinery. Of course not. Don't say such stupid thing. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. You. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why, why are you conflicted? There's all this machinery lined up here. Man, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Oh, man. But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that. That's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah. It's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? And you want to check out her bone structure. Like her ribs or what parts of her bones stick out. What? That's not normal. That's an acrobatic sex fetish. You serious? Uh. I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. Various desktops, various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned to run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know. We can connect to the internet, we might be able to call help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, turned it on. Alter Ego! Come on. Come on, let's see if Alter Ego, come on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use, looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed a strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File, what is this? Without thinking, I clicked the strangely named icon. It's a document file based on the format. It looks like some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students at Host Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, pro provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous acts of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we can simply cannot apply reason for this sub subverse moment. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic and disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subverse movement full of despair. Old Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use. The words are too gargled to... They're talking about Trigger Happy Habit. It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. But what is this? Um, how normal. It's not it's not normal like a dog barking, but 
It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now I'm really hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be, were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my, what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, riots in various parts of the world, and Host Peak Academy getting destroyed. Sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And, and? What's Host Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Huh, really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file says something about students who survived. Is that, is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a second, you guys. Hey, hey. Just what the heck have you been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make sense. So you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know an important story like that. Because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Dang it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making that all up. That's it. That's definitely it. Okay, but that's something. They were talking about Trigger Happy Habit. A lot of electric appliances in his mess, including some, including some appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these look old. Do they still even work? Why is there a mic? So this is a cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception even with all this variety. They may as well be paperweights. Taro Taro would have never used his old microwave. He would have proudly used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. But those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but that's no longer. Chiaki! Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. That's my Chiaki right there. All worried about freaking video games in a time like this. Gotta love it. Alright, <laughs> the Wizard of Monami. currently showing right now so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start showing what does that mean what are you saying? are your eyes just for show look around this is a movie theater right of course. then i'm obviously showing a movie what is that what is that what is that what is that picture looks like monokuma is about to get freaking gunned down Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. She's gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm not, I'm not gonna see it. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you not to watch it. Went through a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap. But this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as, I, as, long as, I, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, no. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law! If I don't watch it, what you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it, but... What are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker. Yeah. 
some strange goods on top of the corner. Looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monami's face on it. No. Oh, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item, only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around rice. I mean mm -hmm. ice. So how about it? Wanna buy? It? No. I'll pass. Yeah, I thought you said that. I'll just be up front with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry I was born stupid. I would I would buy that. <laughs> It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. Bro, how half-baked is this? Actually, to tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker. I received it from a wandering miracle-working priest. And it could be yours for the special price of, 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 of only $1.5 million. What? Don't mess with me! I don't got that kind of money! Then you can pay me back when you get off the island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. Whoa, I'm surprised! As long as I can pay it after I get here, I'll pay anything, even $1.5 million. Yeah, you're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. But if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot whose hobby is counting money, after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Come on, take it deep, and I'll slap it on your forehead, thief! Take advantage of this a divine opportunity, thief! The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. Whoa there, looks like the showing is over. Alrighty then, gotta collect those questionnaires. At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door leading to the theater. The door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Hey, hey! Ah, uh, Nagito, please answer my questionnaire! Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Yes. Well, I, I guess that's what's what art is! Because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. Well, I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I would have just settled it with money. Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Give me that. I knew you could do it. It's a video game poster. Looks pretty interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Is that the Spare Girls? I heard about that game. I saw clips of Berlizzi literally contemplating suicide from how horrible it was. I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have got me out of seeing it, I would have just settled with the money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch that movie, I'd gladly play it. I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer, the movie must have been that bad, huh? Apparently I could watch Monokuma's specially made movie, however I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch this about the sticker, but it caused one- maybe I was too hasty. Hey Hajime, after Nagito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. I actually kind of want to watch it. I want to see why it's so horrible. Please wait. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. Sonia, did something happen? Well? Just now I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikado's made a very serious discovery at the hospital. At the hospital? Serious discovery? Not strains, drugs, or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you were the same as me. Huh? See? It is the same as... If I turn around, he's there. But if I also remember that person in the wind. What? What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan's legendary medical drama. That person in the wind aired 1984 and set the... Oh! 
That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It is almost a righteous rookie doctor. It is about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We're waiting at the patient's room in the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room? I don't really understand, but I guess I'll head over there. It's probably for you, Hiko. Hello there. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Yep. They are in the patient's room lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. This is going to be a touching scene. A worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene. I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well... No, not at all. Mm. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Who knows? Not like my fault. Not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? I'm gonna start shooting people like you, bro. On your mama grave, I'm gonna start shooting people like you. What the f- Why they post it up? What the freak is going on? Heaven! I can't even hate, bro. That's that's cool. That is, that is fire. I can't even hate. Apparently, I'm the last one to show up. I should hurry and go. Everyone should be gathered in the patient's room at the very back of the hallway. Okay, go! Oh, I, do I just walk? No, I don't. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. It's here, right? It's here, right? I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sound like they're all really here, but what are they doing in here? I had a feeling something bad was happening. Consciously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. I knew it. What? Seen a ghost. Hey, Hiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. You almost died. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds, but they're relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what it's called, having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by those hordes of marionettes? But still. But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned his bed away from- Yeah, I can see that. You don't have to tell me. I, I literally saw him do it. And stop talking. Um. Uh, I, I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. No need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. 
I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. Um, um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. Akane, Fuyuhika has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. No. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then... Ah, then do whatever you want. Hey, Nekomaru. Jeez. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... However, I'm never going to do it with you again. Huh? It. Uh, Please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey, hey wait. Wait a sec, Negomaru. It was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. My body still hasn't forgotten. And now you're saying you're going to stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Is it what I think it is? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nekomaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on, I can't, I can't live without it! With that voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekomaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> oh, it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hyoko. Huh. It's it's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Maharu killed by Pekka. And Hyoko was nearly framed as a killer. There is no way she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey. Suspicious, it's definitely suspicious. Oh. All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Uh, all I really care about is Shiaki. How you doing, girl? Now that I have some peace of mind, I'm getting sleepy. I should go home for today. Same here on our walk, this just wore me out. Yeah, so let's go home. Let's go home and get some sleep. She fell asleep while she was talking. How tired is she? So what should we do? You guys want to call it quits for today? We could talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I'll make sure he's a nurse back to health. I'll do my, I'll do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. What, what was that jump scare? Hyoko, please do not kill for you, Hiko. I'm, I'm rocking with you. I want Hiyoko to survive. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived in my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, and I won't forgive you, and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone and unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't, so they don't know what it's like to to have a weakling's worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have many friends. Emergency. Do you really want to admire people like that? Hold on, hold on. Bro might be spitting. He might be spitting. Ahem. Hopes be good. Now then, let's show... Woo! And once I've slept a lot, my head feels clearer thanks to that. All right, I head over to the restaurant. Mikan, 
How you doing? Mikan. How you doing? Good morning, Mikan. Uh, hello. Uh, how are you, mate? Good morning. It's almost time to meet up with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I'm about to go well. I'm so glad I went to check up for you, Higo, so I thought I was late. I see, so you're busy this morning. Not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. How's for you, Hiko, doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the rest. Oh, well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand that. I shall go ahead. Guess I should go to the restaurant. Mahiru, <laughs> Mahiru, no! Yo, Nakamura. Your voice is too soft. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach. Jeez, does it have to be like that for first thing in the morning? Good morning! <laughs> All right, now, now your voice will reach the sun. And to our departed Mahiru and Pekka. You're right, I'm sure they heard it. I'm just a mere team manager. Therefore, I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mahiru's pit photos for the first time, my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that was a splendid thing. It is a pity what happened to Mahiru. But I would never forget how she taught me the value of art. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. Move! Ipuki! <laughs> what happened? I wanna listen. Huh? I wanna listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artists! There's no TV or radio here, you know? I'm starting from death from musical deprivation. Don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? Uh, they do, but there's only classicals and the usual mainstream pop. Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out all over the world. Man, if only someone brought me a sweet CD they found on the floor. A CD, if I ever find one, I should tell Ibuki about it. Yo, Yo Hajime! Hey, good morning. Hey, hey. Oh, you're looking better than usual. Everyone I met is like that too. Did something, ha did something happen? Well, for you, Hiko, it's safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also feel like I can eat more delicious food than usual. Right. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm going to eat everything in the restaurant. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy, too. Jeez. Doesn't it feel like we're being forced to meet up at the, at the restaurant every morning? There's something I need to do find at the supermarket today. Something to find. Want me to help you? It's fine, I'm just gonna look for a camera and I'll be probably be find it really fast. I have a camera. Well, it's actually a toy camera. That's weird. Huh, really? Um, um if that's the case, I probably need a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Hey, you! Hey, Hajime, I have a favor to ask you. Guess I'll listen to what you have to say. Hey, hey! Come to the music venue right after breakfast, bring a camera too. You've got some free time, right? So it's okay? What should I do? I'm free. I don't dislike anyone who knows their place. Bye. Then it's a promise. You definitely have to come. Somehow I ended up making a promise, but this is real. Is this really okay? I hope she doesn't do any make me do anything weird. Ah. That boy Hajime is a skeptic. He think he Byakuya. He think he Byakuya. The faces of everyone gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko's safe. Then... The day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! But there's a music venue! I see. I get that. But what about clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. <laughs> In the town with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um... I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. This too... I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. Huh? Hope's Peak Academy was been destroyed? Wow. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. But even if it is a prank, it's not something that should be allowed to do. Dude. A symbol of hope getting destroyed is not something you should even joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. 
<laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How pitiful. So basically, on that island, we found no way of escape. No, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> Hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. You don't have to correct us each time. <laughs> However, it is not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be returned to us. <laughs> I got pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think he can come back to us. He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he could be discharged from the hospital in one week. However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. Yeah. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? He murdered her back! He's the reason Mahiru died. Respectfully, look, respectfully, the class trial changed my opinion of him. I feel a little better about him. I don't, I don't really hate him anymore. I'll say that. But oh my goodness, bro. Like, he still, he still killed my favorite character. I can't let that slide. I'm with Hiyoko. If he's gonna try, if he, if, if he is gonna be the reason my favorite character died, he at least deserves an injury like that. If he's not gonna die. Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. Jeez. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what other others are saying. Um. Okay, then. Since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Oh. Train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. Yeah. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh, my, my. She's, like, really pumped up. Huh? I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning meeting ended, and we all went back to our cottages. I'm supposed to meet Hiyoko now. What does she want me to do with a camera at the music venue? Oh, maybe she wants to, um... Maybe she, maybe she wanted to dance, because she is like a traditional dancer. Hey, Hiyoko, I'm here. Jeez. You're late, Hajime? My my, if it isn't Hajime, what's up? Huh, Ibuki and Chiaki too, what are you guys? Uh, could it be, does the cameraman mean you, Hajime? Cameraman, wait, hold on, I don't know what's going on. Man, you sure are dense, you won't get it unless I explain it to you. Dense or not, it's impossible to find out without a hint or two. Well? Apparently we're gonna hold a memorial for Mahiru right now. Mahiru? I see. Mayuru told me she wanted to take pictures of me jamming on an instrument and she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hiyoko dancing So we decided to do it all together. I shall call the the memorial jam session. Ah, I see so I have to take pictures of that. I guess it's a great idea I'm sure Mayuru gonna be happy hey, hey. If you think so too, you're gonna accept the cameraman position, right? But that's a huge responsibility hey. Huh, are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? No, I will there's no way my pictures will be as good as my heroes, but I'll take as many as I can. Yep. I'll be counting on you. I'll do my very best to play an instrument too. You too? Um. At first I heard about the idea from Evil Key and I was playing, just planning to watch. But look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? Yep. Even I can play something like this, so is it okay if I participate? Right. Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to mourn for my hero. You don't need skill on this stage, just heart. Huh. Well, I guess it's okay. Mario's probably gonna be happy about that. Understand? But if you suck, I'm gonna make you stop, okay? And so we finished our preparations and the memorial service for Mario began. Ah! My eyes are crushed by the silent serenade. Even the tips of my fingers are crimson red. Chiaki's hitting a triangle with such intensity. The combination is crazy and everyone's doing different things, but strangely it's harmonizing really well. Even though our paces are all different, will we be able to be like this in the future? Mahiru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Hiyoko's dance? Not just Mahiru, Peko, Taro Taro, Byakuya, are you all watching? We will never forget about you, ever. And we will not waste your death. We will survive and get off this island.
I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back to my cottage for the time being. Now then, what should I do today? First things first, I'm a gangster, a hustler, sucker, you a buster. Hustler, hustler, hustler. 